What's going on guys? This is Ryan with the RK Outpost, and ever since the season 2 finale of The Mandalorian, a lot of people have been asking the same question. What does that post credit scene mean exactly? Well, Jon Favreau finally came out and provided some clarification on this, but there's still a little bit of confusion. He worded it very specifically, and I have some thoughts about it. Before we get into it, I do want to just say there will be spoilers for The Mandalorian Season 2. If you haven't watched the finale yet, if you don't want to be spoiled, I'd recommend going away, watching it then coming back to this video. But we are talking about the book of Boba Fett, that post credit scene that involved Boba Fett and Fennec Shand. Well, Jon Favreau gave us some more information on that today, and we also now have a logo, Star Wars, the book of Boba Fett. There are already articles being written about this. There are already people that are saying, see, I told you so, when in reality, there's still a lot about this that seems strange. Now, what I'm talking about is Jon Favreau's appearance right here on Good Morning America. And we're also going to be talking about what Kathleen Kennedy said just weeks before, days before, at the investor meeting. Because this all plays into telling this story right now. But let's take a look at what we actually do know about this show, what has been revealed. Disney unveils first details of Mandalorian spinoff, The Book of Boba Fett. Uh, spinoff is an interesting word. We're going to look at that. Disney Plus has revealed the first details around its Mandalorian spinoff series, The Book of Boba Fett. News of the show is first unveiled in a mysterious post credit sequence. On Monday, executive producer Jon Favreau confirmed the new show, which is its own series rather than a third installment of The Mandalorian, as many mistakenly assumed previously. I would think about the wording there that you just used when you actually listen to what Jon Favreau says. And why don't we just listen to it right now? This is Jon Favreau on Good Morning America. We're going to listen to exactly what he says about this. I do. Well, we have uh, at the end of the show, uh, Boba Fett came out and it said the book of Boba Fett coming Christmas, uh, excuse me, coming December of 2021. That is very important. The fact that he said coming Christmas and then corrected himself and said, uh, no, uh, coming December. We're going to get into that. Remember that phrasing. Uh, and that wasn't part of the big Disney announcement, but here's the logo. We wanted to hold this back because we don't want to spoil the surprise during the, the big Disney announcement of all the shows when Kathleen Kennedy was up there. And so they let me keep this one a secret. So this is actually separate from The Mandalorian Season 3. Separate from The Mandalorian Season 3, so that's what a lot of people are pointing and looking at and saying. But what we didn't say in that announcement is that the next show coming up, Kathy said the next chapter, and that's going to be the Book of Boba Fett. And then we go into production right after that on Season 3 of The Mandalorian, uh, you know, back with the main character that we all uh, have known and loved. What, what? A lot of things, this is a very short statement, but there's a lot of things to kind of break down there. Now, what he's talking about Kathleen Kennedy related is this investor meeting. So she came out and the first thing she talked about was the Mandalorian. Then after that, after they did a little bit of a, a hey, look look at all the stuff from the Mandalorian. You guys are excited about this. She announced these two spinoff shows right here. We'll listen to her say this. And then she says something at the end. We're concurrently developing two new spinoff series exclusively for Disney+. Plus. One, the Rangers of the New Republic, and the other featuring fan favorite, Ahsoka Tano. Set within the timeline of The Mandalorian, these interconnected shows, along with future stories, will excite new audiences, embrace our most passionate fans, and will culminate in a climactic story event. God, she's so fucking boring. But here, coming up, is the part that he referred to. The next chapter will debut on Disney Plus Christmas of 2021. The next chapter, right? Talking about The Mandalorian, the next chapter will debut Christmas of 2021. We just heard what Jon Favreau said, right? That it is separate from season three, but he said Christmas, well, I mean, I mean, uh, December of 2021. And then he goes on to say that after the Boba Fett series comes out, they will start production on The Mandalorian season three with the character you all know and love. Uh, a couple interesting things that he said, and what I think is going on here, what I've thought all along, is that a lot of the reports that we heard were right. We heard all these, all this randomness about Pedro and the drama. Uh, what I do think is that that drama was resolved and that he is coming back to be in The Mandalorian. But this is something that did set production back. This is something they did set up for the potential of having to move forward without Pedro, just like all those rumors that we heard. 
because it's very clear that this is the next chapter of the Mandalorian. Then they're coming out with a Mandalorian season three that doesn't sound like it's going into production till after the Boba Fett show. Take another listen. Again, this is John Favreau's words. Three. But what we didn't say in that announcement is that the next show coming up, Kathy said the next chapter, and that's going to be the book of Boba Fett. And then we go into production right after that on season three of The Mandalorian. So there, there is some, what, what, what exactly does that mean? The next show coming up is the book of Boba Fett that comes out in December of 2021. Then we go into production of The Mandalorian. Is he talking about after we get done filming this, then we go into The Mandalorian? Is that what he means? Or does he mean after this starts airing on Disney Plus in December, that's when we start going into production on The Mandalorian Season 3? Now, there's a lot of ways you can, you can swing this depending on how you feel about it. Obviously, I've felt a certain way about this. I felt like a lot of these rumors were true from what I've heard from people. I never really thought that Pedro was officially gone, but I did think that there was obviously some, some drama there and they could have potentially had an out. That out seems to be this book of Boba Fett. Because there are still people out there that think that season three of The Mandalorian is going to come out in December alongside the book of Boba Fett, and that's simply not true. He said it himself. John Favreau said it himself. The next chapter in The Mandalorian is the book of Boba Fett. Now, it is going to be it's separate. It's going to be a spinoff, but that is the next chapter of The Mandalorian. Kennedy said it, and John Favreau himself said that that is what she was talking about. And then after that, we're going to get season three of The Mandalorian. So very interesting uh, phrasing, the way that he says the, the main character we all know and love, I thought was strange as well. Uh, again, listen to his words. On season three of The Mandalorian, uh, you know, back with the main character that we all uh, have known and loved. Whoa, whoa. So there you go. Back to season three after uh, the Boba Fett. Now, whether again, whether that's when they finish production of Boba Fett, they'll be starting that or when after it airs. That's a little bit unclear, to be honest with you. But either way, I don't think it's happening in December. That's what so many people were trying to say, that they were both going to air in December. I don't think that that makes any sense, first of all. And I also don't think that that's actually going to happen based on everything that they've said. It's very clear that Kathleen Kennedy, when saying the next chapter of The Mandalorian comes Christmas, was talking about the book of Boba Fett. Now, what are we going to see from this? I'm not exactly sure. To be honest with you, I thought it was a very strange post credit scene. The fact that Bubba went back there is uh, looking to maybe be a, a, a crime lord of some sort seemed a little strange, but uh, I know a lot of people are going to be excited about it because it's Boba Fett. So in the same way that they're excited for a lot of characters that they've cared about from the original trilogy, uh, they get brought back in and they're going to absolutely love it. Now, it is being run by Robert Rodriguez and, of course, executive produced by Favreau and Dave Filoni. One thing I think is interesting about that is that he is the one that directed the one where Boba Fett came back, where we actually saw him in the tragedy, but he was a last second replacement, essentially. They found him at the last second to kind of do this. He's the one who said, I only got handed 19 pages of script, so I kind of had to ad-lib a bunch of combat. He's the one that's going to be running this show. So a, a lot of strange things going on right now at Lucasfilm surrounding the Mandalorian and the book of Boba Fett, a lot of secrecy and a lot of confusion. I do think that a lot of truth was there to some of the friction. I think it's all taken care of now, like we heard, but I'll say this, the same person and this, I got a shout out to junk 3 PO for giving me some of this information. The same person who told us that Luke Skywalker would be in the Mandalorian season two confirmed it is the one that said there was definitely something going on with Pedro on set. He said he thought it got resolved. Sounds like it was. But a lot of that drama seems like it was real. That might explain why there's some confusion and some uh, maybe kind of, of very, very secretive stuff going on, even within people at Lucasfilm. Let me know what you think about all this. Are you excited for the book of Boba Fett? When do you think we'll actually see Mandalorian season three? It definitely doesn't sound like December, but I guess technically they could try to do that if they wanted to. Let me know, smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.